Today in the grain market, soybeans were lower. I think the weekend uh, profit taking uh, started and futures, you know, did get a nice lift uh, from export sales yesterday and it was just in time to take something off the table. A lot of the traders just don't want to hang on to it over the weekend. We're also at uh, kind of like the triple witching hour because it's a uh, July expiration and options and sometimes we have a little of the uh, the tail wagging the dog. Uh, but still, uh, even, even with that, that being said, uh, shipments are, are at like a 78% uh, level, and that's the lowest since 1991, yikes, uh, with soybeans. So we're still suffering from uh, the problem with the trade deal. And it seems like uh, corn also was mixed today. And actually, uh, I think that uh, staying, staying a little bit lower, perhaps that rally has totally run its course and it's kind of leveling off so much. Uh, we have to watch out, though, because uh, the... Uh, expiration here really needs to stay below that 450 mark uh, because of there's about 20 plus thousand open interest and in options that could definitely affect the close and affect where we're going to uh, head over the weekend and starting Monday morning. There could be a big scramble there. We're going to watch out for that. But the corn and wheat exports uh, did not meet that USDA uh, forecast. And it seems like the market right now is taking a little bit of a breather because the market's still pretty strong. In spite of it all, it actually looks pretty good. Um, the, in the wheat market, it was firm. The global weather issues do persist right now. There is dryness in Russia and the Ukraine. And it's supporting some of the prices, but uh, you know we got to watch out for those dangerous chasms below because right now we are not uh, a competitive uh, around the world, and uh, and prices still seem to be uh, pretty high overall. And the U.S. dollar index was a little bit lower, so it would help to support these markets right now. But is it increasing our ability to to ship some of our grain? Uh, that it remains to be seen. So we're going to watch that closely today. Uh, it's going to be very interesting on how you know everything really wraps up and we'll be able to see that after the close and uh, certainly uh, we'll see how Monday morning uh, uh, wraps up here with this final day of uh, November options.